Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35716MP, uh, battery under voltage alarm. Uh, as you can see, this is how it comes to you, uh, this, just like this, a uh, simple board level. Uh, one, this is one inch square, so you can see it's, it's one inch by about uh, 9 sixteenths of an inch. Actually, I wish they would have made it a little bigger, so they put some little mounting tabs on it, or mounting holes but uh, they decided size was uh, more important. Uh, very quickly I have this hooked up to my uh, benchtop power supply so I can simulate a battery uh, drain. Uh, there's the audible uh, the alarm, uh, the, adjust, uh, the pot, adjust the, the, the set point and you'll see there's a little LED chip, surface mount chip there when we reach the, uh, the setting. Uh, right now I have it set right at about 11 volts I have my digital multimeter hooked up to the benchtop power supply so you can get a, a visual reference of where the, uh, the voltage is. Help you, you know, it'll help us also set it and I'll show you how to set it in a moment. Uh, first thing I would like to say is as I turn it down you see the voltage drop. Like I said it's set at about 11 volts but this, this especially right here in your face this, this little buzzer is quite loud so right when you see it get to 11 just, just warning, warning again it's going to be very loud. All right, as uh, we simulate the battery drop, as I say, I have it set at 11 volts. Okay, and it will keep going until you uh, you either remove power or you uh, the battery gets above 11 volts. But from now on, for the rest of the video, I'm going to put the little sticker back over the buzzer, uh, just so we can save our hearing. You got the LED indicator, and hopefully you can hear that. It's still very... Alright, okay, so we don't have to drive each other crazy listening to that. So as it's going to just... Keep going till your battery goes down to, says it goes down to 6 volts, but I find really and truly, right around 7 volts, you can definitely hear that the buzzer kind of. So, and once again, it, it'll keep, it'll keep signaling and uh, the alarm going till we're back above 11 volts. Okay, um, being so small and inexpensive, that's also kind of a drawback because you got to have some way to, to get the set point. Uh, so you almost either need a bench top power supply, adjustable, and a, and a meter. But uh, let's say we want my set point a little higher. Let's say I want, want it to go off when my battery gets to hey, 11.6. Sounds good. So what we'll do to uh, you will turn this little sensitivity, the set point. Uh, counterclockwise to increase the voltage set point. So let's get in there and turn it. Okay, once it's it's triggered, you just, just slightly just start turning it back, gently turn it clockwise till it stops, and then as we would our battery would drop below that, you see we we, we changed it to 11.6 volts. Alright, let's say you're dealing with a 9 volt battery and you want it 8.5 volts. Yeah, close enough. Uh, to, to turn the voltage set point down, you turn it clockwise. It's actually, I believe, a little 10 turn pot, so it has quite, quite a bit set fairly accurately. Okay, and as it turned off, uh, I will turn it back up until it just... Alright, so... Now as we turn our voltage up, as you can see it stops signaling. Just down to where we set it. 
like I said, it will keep 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 uh, keep ringing, keep playing, buzzing until it uh, is the power is either removed or it's above the set point. All right, it's a very simple, straightforward little device. Uh, hopefully, this answers any of your questions. Uh, you have any more? Let us know. Thank you for watching our video.